Hello, and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Monster High Neon Frights Torale Stripe. So here is its packaging, of course. You can see all the stuff to, to be opened once we actually get it opened. <laughs> see the giant hinge there. Not really much, you know, with the box. Has the logo, which is very nice. And yeah. So, we can come to the back here. We can see everyone who's included in the Neon Frights line. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember, like, any of these girls' names. <laughs> like, I think that's Laguna Blue. I'm not really sure about anyone else's names. Look, I like Monster High, I just... The names elude me sometimes, so... Yes, that is the packaging. Pretty much not a whole lot to go on here. So I'm gonna open things up. Okay, so as with the other one, I just wanna go over quickly um, so, first thing that I did here was you open this half, and there's a little, you know, slot there for your finger to go in. Oh, I doubt I can do it one-handed for you. Um, but, you know, that side opens, and that's the side that holds the doll, and our key... And, of course, to get the accessories, you just insert the key, turn it, and then, you know, they just open like this bottom one does, so. I think it's nice, because, like, theoretically, you could just store the accessories in here if you wanted to, so. But I just wanted to quickly go over that. Alright, so here we have all of her accessories. Of course, the most important one to me is the hood. I mean, it's kind of the whole reason I wanted this. I'm going to throw that on her at some point here. Uh, we have the Monster High Skull thing. Sure. We have an additional two keys, just in case you lose the first one. We have a microphone here. We have a keyboard, a cat keyboard. We have a really cool looking skirt. I ooh, I really like that skirt quite a lot. Honestly, quite a lot more than the one she's got on. But uh, we'll get to that. We have a little bag here. We have a shirt. Very cool looking shirt there. We have this. Whatever that's for. And that. And is this like a collar? Is this a collar? I can't really tell. Here we have oh yeah, a big orange key here. Some tea or coffee, I don't know, whatever it will drink. It's a drink. And a suitcase which or it's a book. And it has lyrics inside and a drawing of uh, somebody. And we have some boots, which are actually not too bad. So, yeah. Now let's take a look at her, though. Alright, and here she is. And yes, I do have to hold her. Otherwise, she will fall over. So, I don't know, I might change... Might have to change the footwear out because we don't get a lot of support down here. And these heels are like rubber, so... Kind of just, you know, makes it good for falling over. But, she doesn't look too bad out of the box. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of it. Not a fan of this current outfit, so I'm probably gonna make some changes, uh, which I will do 
The head looks great though. I love the hair. I like the short hair. I think that's one of my favorite things about this one is that she has short hair. And I really like that. I, re I can appreciate that. The eyes look gorgeous with the uh, the yellow and the red in there. And yeah, the uh, the hair looks great too. But yeah, that's what she looks like right now out of the box. So uh, I am gonna make some changes, throw some things on, you know, change things up. And uh, I will show you what I come up with after I'm done. Okay, it took me way too much time to do this, but I finally did it, and it, well, there, there's the result right there. And she fell over. <sighs> I thought, you know, changing the shoe would mitigate that, but apparently it doesn't. But it's okay, because she's going to be leaning up against a wall anyways. But yes, I like these boots a lot better. Very much. I like how one's pink and one's red. That's a cool little touch. Something disappointing is I wanted to put the other skirt on the black one. But, like, you can't. Because only this red one has a... Only the red one has a cutout for the tail to go through. The black one doesn't. So I'm like, unless I'm supposed to do that myself, or I don't really know how that's supposed to work, but yeah. Now, something I didn't see in any review, because I did uh, reference a few reviews. So, to get the hood on, because I found this out... Um, and I'm gonna share it. The only way to get the hood on is you do have to detach the hands. Otherwise, these sleeve spots are just far too thin for anything else. So, like, just know that. And, you know, you are gonna have to put some of the hair through. I know it's a messy look. Kind of an odd look, but, you know. And you do have to get it up on the ears to get it to actually stay, so. But I think all in all, once you actually get it, it's a really nice look. I quite like it. I know there's a lot of bright colors going on. You know, you get the pink, the orange, and all of that, but I like it. Um, but yeah, so. I'm quite happy. Uh, for the most part, again, just that that other skirt. A little unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. So. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I picked this up at Target. Uh, I've seen it at Walmart so as well. It is a $30 set, and I recommend it if you're a Torrele fan like me. This is like... Aside from her regular G3 doll, this is the only other Torale that I've actually seen, um, and at least that I actually own, so. Uh, but yes, I'm very happy to have another one of her, so. But that's gonna do it, so if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.